Hello world, today I'm going to show you how to host your website with Apache. What uh, The reason I chose Apache is because it is free and easy to use. Now first thing you have to do is make sure that nothing is using your Apache port, which is port 80. Uh, but you can make Apache use port 80, 80 if, like, uh, you're, if you want an application to use port 80. So you, what you do is type netstat no spaces minus a o n scroll up till you see 80 which is usually at the top under 21 right there 20 is using by port id 4 so 4 is usually system it's uh used by the system so it's either not used or it's being used by like iis or uh like if you have a file server on like filezilla or ftp or that's what that's what it'll be using it so this is stopped. That's good. Make sure everything is stopped. And then what you do is you go on your browser. To download Apache, you go on HTTPD, HTTPD.apache.org. You, uh, you click under the, t the download header from a mirror. Now over here, the mirror that you have that's chosen, don't change it. Uh, Apache website chooses it for you depending on your location. So it'll change every time, so it doesn't matter. Now since I'm running Windows, I'm going to download the Windows 32 binary, including OpenSSL MSI installer. And if you have like Unix, you download the tar.bz2 or gz, doesn't matter. But I'm going to download this, ctpd. It usually takes a couple seconds. I don't know why it's loading this slow. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to search for it. So I won't have to make you guys wait. So I'll show you the installation. Let me cancel this. Just give me a sec. All right. So just click run. Once it's done, it'll take a couple seconds for you guys. I don't know why it's doing this to me. Click next. Accept the terms of agreement. All right. This is just telling you what it is and what to do with it, like documentation and all this stuff, licensing. So. Over here, what you're gonna do is when it go on noip.com, and if you don't already have an account, make one. It's it's free. It's it's like the DYN DNS website, but now I'm not using DYN because they make you pay. So just make an account. They don't. They're gonna ask you for your email, but they're not gonna email you ever for like newsletters and stuff like that. They'll email you to confirm your account and to log in. So like if you want to confirm your account, like when you're creating an account or when you're going to log into this website, you have to put in your email right here. Your username is your email. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to log into it. All right, you go on hosts, redirects, and then I already I made a host name. I'm going to show you guys how, like if your ISP already, if your ISP doesn't block port 80, just you could do, uh, you have to do uh, like the... DNS host A, which just let, goes directly. So just choose any name you want. I'm gonna do John Doe 11. And then this is, this is your IP address. My IP address is dynamic, that's why I didn't block it. It's gonna change next time I log in. So create host. If it's already taken, it'll show a red thing down here saying it's already taken, but it isn't. So over here, and I'm gonna show you how if you're ISP blocks port 80 you go on and you make another host name like you make your host name the same thing I did but you do port 80 redirect and then if you want to you could set set any port you want other than 80 so you could do 80 80 80 80 80 it could be anything so I'm just gonna keep this the same here and then if you want your IP address to show up when somebody writes John Doe one 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 dot zepto dot org or I'm gonna put this no IP dot mm, I don't know my FTP dot org if you want, right when they type that to, for it to show your IP address, don't click the mask URL. But if you if you want to hide your IP address from everybody, just click mask URL. I'm gonna do that. So create host. This is an example. I'm not gonna use this because my ISP doesn't block. So let me delete this. This is an old one. So now let's set up port direct redirection or port forwarding actually. So you log into your admin page on your router. If you don't know how, you're I mean, you're gonna have to look in your manual. Usually it's 192.168.1.1 if 
you don't know it, just research it, like your ice, your uh, router model number. So I'll just give this a while. It's getting annoying. Just doing this every time. Let's redo. Oh, so the this thing is I was saying your host name now, right here. If your ISP blocks it, just put the one that you made with uh, port eighty eighty. If it doesn't, just do this one. So I'm just gonna do this. Just paste it here. Uh, paste and then here, just put your real email if you want it to show up when your server's down or something's wrong. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to show your email, just do admin at admin.com. They won't email you. So just if you know what you're doing, click custom. But I know what I'm doing. But I'm just gonna do a typical to make it easier for you guys and me. Install. All right. So over here it's done. Usually it's under at like uh, virtual server, but access virtual server. On some routers it is under applications and gaming. So what you guys click HTTP. If you have to add one, add one. Do it uh, like your private port is gonna be 80, which is your computer. Like instead of having to type localhost 8080, just do it 80. And then public port, the one you set for no IP, which is this one. Your public port you set 8080, so you're gonna have to do this public port this. But if your ISP doesn't block it, just keep it this way. And then, then update it. Uh, if you want to set up a static IP for your computer, static local IP that is, so that every time you restart your computer, it won't change. Uh, so that you won't have to also change the LAN server over here every time you log in. Go on control panel. Network and internet. Network and sharing center. And then your connection. Connections property. And then over here you click IPv4 right here just set up a static IP for your, for your house that is so if your uh, router does is like if your router homepage address is 192.168.1.1 like this you're gonna keep it that this way like you're gonna put 192.168.1.1 click use the following IP addresses if you want your IP address like mine 192.168.1.201 or anything and then you uh, do a subnet mask as 255, and then default gateway is 192.168.1.1. And, and if your router is like 10.0.0.1, uh, .0 you do that there instead. And uh, use the following DNS server addresses. Just do your router address for the first one right here. Just, do, just fill in the first one. Click OK. I already done it, so I'm going to click Cancel because I don't want to have to go through a lot of troubleshooting because that's what my computer does. So just close it here. Now you have a static IP. And then if you since you already have we already have Apache downloading, this won't take it won't take long, so it's just gonna go. So uh, you set you put your static IP here and then you put it to to TCP or both or UDP it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't really know the difference. I'm just gonna put it to both. So uh, right here if you want also to be to have SSL or HTTPS, you could uh, set the same thing to it, and then if you want to have FTP on your website or FTP on your computer, I don't recommend this unless you have like a good antivirus system because you could get hacks easier and they could upload viruses onto your computer. So if you like give public access to your FTP site, log in as anonym, anon, anonymous or so they don't have to log in. These are the download page, these are the download command prompts from the Apache. You don't worry about these, just click escape if it shows you an error message it's finished and then you just go here I don't know why this is doing this to me let's see start it it'll but it, it should work so do localhost it's gonna work for you guys it works for me too but like when I do one of my existing pages mail doesn't find it I'm gonna have to fix this for myself so if you want to change your files you're gonna have overwrite so you scroll down program files apache software foundation it's right there apache 2.2 htdocs or www root it's usually htdocs now this is the index page i'll just ignore it i just put this all this stuff here so uh, right here edit with notepad and you have to overwrite this so if you want to put a website file in here so just give me a second, let's see. If you want to put a website file in here, you're going to have to 
paste it and then when it asks you uh like there's already an existing file just copy and replace because if you delete it you're gonna have to reinstall the whole thing so just don't delete the index file now that's gonna be your website and to make it public you're gonna have well I think we already did that with the this let's see I know it's not gonna work for me because I had this problem before I tried it a lot of times it doesn't work so it's gonna work for you guys it has to if it doesn't please uh, comment email I don't know so that's how you set up an Apache web server you can use this for hosting file servers anything so uh, thanks for watching this video and thanks I guess